you see it here, this is the occipital curve, cervical curve, thoracic curve, lumbar curve, sacral curve, and at the very end you begin another curve. Traditionally, this is, these are the only curves that are seen before. I'm going to come back to this one because I love that in the models they include the occipital bone as the top cervical vertebrae. The occiput being the top vertebrae of the spine. It's concave. The cervical is convex. The thoracic is concave. The lumbar is convex. The sacrum is concave. And the coccyx, while they continue the curve of the sacrum, in the forces acting upon the tip of the coccyx, as you bring it as an impulse, if we had more bones, it would go into a convex curve you will find a counter between the tip of your coccyx and the occipital here that will lengthen your spine and give it a dynamic integrity.